In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a form on a WordPress site using the BB Press plugin. We're going to build the form. We're going to log in to the form as a user to see what it would be like for a visitor and a user of the forum. And I'm going to show you how to interact with those people through the WordPress admin. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. We help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon right afterwards so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's go build a forum over in the screencast. I'll see you there. First, we're logged into the WordPress admin here. I'm gonna hover over plugins, then click on add new. BB Press for me is one of the feature plugins, shows up right down here. So you click on install now from there, but if you don't see it, type in BB Press in the search bar, and then it'll show up first. Got a lot of installs, four to five stars, still pretty darn good. Compatible with the current version of WordPress, which is awesome. Click on install now, and then activate. And then we're hit with this welcome screen. Some important things that happen though when you install the plugin, you have a new forums link, a topics link, and a replies link. So if we go to forums first, this is where you actually add the form. So you as the site admin would usually have the, the ability to add forums and nobody else would. So if we click on new forum, it's gonna create a couple of them. I'm gonna call one of them WordPress hosting. And then you have some settings over here. The type is a forum. You can also choose the category, but we're creating forums here. Status is open, meaning it's open to anybody. Closed would be closed to invite only. Visibility, public, private, hidden. Pretty self-explanatory. Is there a parent forum? In this case, it's the very first form, so there is no parent. But what you could do, like this one's called WordPress hosting. What you could have is WordPress be the parent forum, hosting be a child to that parent, and then you could have development to be a child. Then you could have other forums that are Joomla forums or Drupal forums. You can just have, you can build out whatever you want, really. So I'm just going to show you the way to get it done, and then you build it however you want to build it. So I'm just going to go with what I have here and click on publish. And I'm just going to add a couple more. I'm going to call this one WordPress development, publish, add another one. And I'm just going to call it general discussion for anybody who just wants to hang out and talk. So we have these forums here and that's great, but where do they actually live as a whole? What we have to do is create a page for them. So if we go to pages and then click on add new, I'm going to add a new page called forums. And I'm also going to add a shortcode, but I'm going to get that shortcode from the BB Press codex. I'm going to Google search BB Press shortcodes and then open the shortcodes page in the codex. And there's a whole bunch of shortcodes. You can do a lot of pretty cool stuff with these shortcodes. But the one we want right now is the forum index shortcode. So I'm going to copy that one into my page paste it there, click on publish. And now if I view this page, it should show me a list of all the forms that are on the site. And it does. These are all the forms I just created. And if we click into each of them, none of them have anything going on, but they look like this. And the Divi theme happens to have some styling in place for BB Press, because BB Press is a very popular plugin. So it does have a little bit of styling for it. If your theme doesn't have any styling for BB Press, you might just have to do some custom CNS, CSS work to make it look right. Now that we have these forums here, what we're still missing is the ability to register an account, the ability to log in, the ability to reset your password if you lose your password. What we're gonna do, or what I wanna do in this case, is have my sidebar for the forums contain the login form and a link to the registration page if they don't have an account and a link to the forgot password functionality if they forgot their password. To do that, what we have to do is actually install another plugin. I'll explain why. So if we go over to Appearance and then Widgets, we have our sidebar right here, which we currently see on the side of our forum. But this is the sidebar that's all over the site. So if we put the BB Press functionality into that sidebar, it's going to appear everywhere. If you want to do that, that's great. But if you don't want to do that, we have to add another plugin called BB Press Tweaks. I'm going to type it in here. I forgot the S, but it should still show up. 
So the one we want is this one right here, and it says adding form specific sidebar and login widget. So we're gonna click on install now. It's untested in the current version of WordPress. This is a demo site, so I'm gonna try it anyway because I don't care if it breaks. If you're worried, back up your site. It's always a good practice to back up your site before you install new plugins. I'm just gonna install it and activate it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Famous last words. So now we have that installed and activated, and under the widgets, we should now have a new sidebar called the BB Press sidebar, and here it is. And you can actually go ahead and just copy all of these things from the side over here. So the BB Press login widget, or the login links in that case, or you can have the, the login widget itself, so it's a login form. I'm gonna call this form login. And we need to add links for the register and the lost password, which we haven't created yet. But if I just save this for now, and then head over to our form and refresh this page, we now have our form login up here. But we're already logged in, so this is how it appears. And if we just head over to an incognito window, meaning it's not containing or not tracking our cookies, so it won't show us as logged in, we see the login form here, the colon, is on the wrong line. Remember me is cut off, so clearly there's a couple of CSS issues with this form, but that's just CSS. That's easily fixed in the CSS, but the functionality is there. So if we close that again, go back here, we uh, saw in the widget that we can add a register URI and a lost password URI. So I'm just gonna create those pages right now. By going to pages, gonna click on add new two times. Let's make my life faster. So I'm gonna call this one register here. And going back to the short codes page, under account down here, there is a registration screen short code. I'm just gonna copy this, paste it into here, and save that page or publish that page. Then I'm gonna copy this link and put it over here into this widget. And for the forgot password page, I'm gonna click over here. I'm gonna call the password reset. And then go back to the short codes. Password reset page is right here. Copy that, paste it into the editor, click on publish. And then once again, just paste this or copy this URL and paste it into here and then click on save. And now if we refresh the logged in version, we may not see very much because we're logged in, no updates, but if we copy the URL here, go back to incognito or a new browser, if that works better for you, or a different browser, I should say. So now we have our form login up here and we've added the register link and the lost password link. So if we click on register, it takes us to the registration page, which is just username and email right now. And then when you verify your account, you get a secure password. And then the last password page looks like this. You enter the email that you created your account with, and then it goes through the last password process inside of your email account. And that's all there is to adding those. If you don't like how these appear, like for example, I've, I had the page titles as register here and uh, password reset. If you don't like these things, we can actually manually create this widget area using shortcodes. So if we go back to the editor, back to the widget area here, I'm just gonna delete this entire widget and I'm just gonna add a text widget. I'm gonna call it forum login. And I'm gonna go back to the shortcodes I want the, the login form, copy that, paste it in here. So that's the short code for the login form. And then below that, I'm gonna add a link to the registration page. And I can put whatever text I want for the, for the anchor text. So I'm gonna call it register here. And the link is this one. Paste that for the URL. Just for sake of speed, going to put in a hard break. Actually, no, I'll put in a pipe character. 
and I'm going to call this one password reset. Then I'm going to copy the password reset URL, put that in here. And then save that. Now if we go back to our form here and refresh, this widget slightly updates. So it says you're already logged in. So this is a little bit different functionality than the one we had. It still shows register here and password reset, which the, the widget doesn't. So it detects when you're logged in, it doesn't show these options. When you're not logged in, it does show those options. So that's the big difference between doing it manually and using the other widget. But if we copy this here and see how it looks without being logged in, it looks like this. And the functionality is the same. The register here and the password reset pages will be the same as before. And these can all be styled using CSS, so you don't have to live with how they look here. And that is all there is to creating the form. So we have all the form functionality right now, but what we want to do now is create a username and actually see how this stuff works. So let's go to register here, like anybody would. Actually, I'm not going to do this incognito. I'm just going to open Firefox. I'm going to go to the forums page and I'm going to click on register here to register an account, enter a username, and then click on register. And we get the message user registration is currently not allowed. This is why testing is a good thing. So what this means in the settings, I believe it's the general settings, we have it set so people cannot register for the site. So here under membership, we want to check this box, anyone can register. Give them a default role of subscriber, which is the lowest role, and that's just fine for that. Do not, under any circumstances, select administrator for this option. Subscriber is pretty much always the one you want. Everybody else, you would manually create that account or upgrade them to a certain level. Click on Save Changes to save it. And we head back over to Firefox and let's refresh this page and then try that again. Now we get another error. This user already exists. Yes, he does. So we're jumping through a bunch of hoops here. I'm going to call this Bjorn213, then click on register, and now we should be golden. And we are. Registration complete. Please check your email. So let's check in that email account. We see an email came in from WordPress, from this site, which is great. That's what we want. Then it says to set your password, visit the following address. So we just click on this link here and then we can just choose a password or we use the one they gave us, which is an awesome little password. I'm just gonna copy that because I'll never remember it. Then we click on reset password. And then following that, we can click on this login link here and then we log in with our new username and our new password. And this is what a user of the site will see. So they're set to a subscriber right now, as we know and they will not have much going on. So if we actually go to their profile, it'll show us the admin dashboard they have access to and this is all they can see. So they can, they can set some profile stuff. They can set a profile picture here, which is pretty great. They can set their, a new password in here if they want to. And if we go to our forums page, we will see what they see in the forums, which is what we're actually, which is the goal of what we're doing here. So in the forums page, we see they're logged in, which is great. Go to general, general discussion. And it says there are no topics created. Then we can create a new topic. So general discussion is, uh, I don't know, today's weather. Topic tags, weather. And then they have the option of being notified when anybody replies to that topic. Then they click on submit. Actually, a short description. Uh, let's talk about the weather. Everybody loves to do that. Click on submit. And now we have a new topic created by Bjorn213. And the profile picture if it had an updated one. It would show my profile picture here. Other people can come and reply or subscribe or favorite. And they can actually have a discussion, like a real forum, which is pretty awesome. Now, if we go back to the forums page, we see it's now updated. 
to include one topic, one post, freshness being how long ago was it posted, 25 seconds ago by Bjorn213. And now what I wanna do is log back into the admin so you can see what that looks like in the admin area. So I'm gonna log out of this user account and I'm going to log in with the admin account. And then if we go to our topics over here, because that's what we just created, we click on topics, we see that there's a new one called today's weather. Who it's created by, when it was created, and number of voices is the number of people who are engaged. And number of replies is how many replies are have been made to that post. And this is how people can create topics and discussions on your site. You can add plugins to be able to moderate a topic before it's submitted so you can make sure people aren't posting bad stuff, which is very important, or spam for that matter. It's always good to make it, like this plugin does, make it so someone has to log in to be able to create a forum topic because that will greatly reduce spam. So there's a lot of automated bots that try to get SEO backlinks through spam tactics like that. And that's how easy it is to build a forum with the BBPress plugin. We saw how people can interact with that forum and you can interact with them. Some of the styling might need to be updated to fit in with your website, but that's easily done with CSS. All in all, I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon to be notified when I publish more awesome content for you. Click that card that just appeared up in the top for some awesome free WordPress resources. And until next time, keep crushing it with WordPress. I'll see you in the next video.